Welcome back to NBA's Big Christmas, presented by Sprint. DA reporting that Chris Paul is going from the Hornets to the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm excited, and this is where I am. And this is where I'm, I'm happy to be. So everything now is all about what can we do here to get the Clippers a championship. We're obviously very excited to have Chris. But, um, you know, the only thing I'm going to promise is that you're going to get our best every night. And, um, you know, when you hear the Clippers, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be a joke anymore. I can guarantee you that. Even before acquiring Chris Paul, the Clippers were waiting to see what Blake Griffin could come up with next after a season in which he won the league's top rookie honors and commanded the stage at the All-Star Slam Dunk Contest. With everything that happened last year and how crazy it was, you know, it definitely wasn't expected. Though he broke out as one of the NBA's most exciting stars, Griffin doesn't want to be known as a one-trick pony. I don't like being granted as the highlight guy or, or anything like that. My whole thing is about playing basketball. I, I want to try to be a, a well-rounded basketball player, and, you know, I get it, but um, at the same time, it's not something that I really embrace or, or um, enjoy. Now that he's surrounded by veteran talent, Blake has high expectations for the season. Most of last year, that pass alone is built. He's going to leave it for Chris. My biggest goal for year two is, you know, for our team is to make the playoffs. I, mean, I think that's the next step. You know, it starts now. We have to hit the ground running. You know, we can't get too hung up on it, but at the same time, I know all our guys are excited about it, um, as well as myself, so uh, we'll be ready. While the Clippers hope to join the ranks of the Western Conference elite, there's a team in the heartland that has already emerged as a title contender. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Featuring the NBA's two-time defending scoring champion, Kevin Durant. Right now you think it's good to be Scott Cooks. You got a Westbrook, James Harden, Kevin Durant. And we're seeing Kevin Durant coming of age. This guy is exploding. Durant! Oh! And a foul! Kevin Durant throws it down. My goodness, Kevin Durant on the out-of-bounds play says to Brendan Haywood, excuse me, I got an appointment with the rim. Oklahoma City Thunder, we're going to get it going. The next step for us is to continue to just keep getting better. You know, practice is a key ingredient. The only thing I can worry about is how I come in and work every day. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I just know if I work hard, continue to keep growing with my guys, that you know, I can get better. That's all I'm focused on. We prepare ourselves very well for games, and uh, I think if you do that, you got a good chance of winning. Watching film is a big component to us getting better. It's the same thing, and Russell came on the other side and ended up getting the jump shot. Remember when he shot it and banked it? Good. We can't control the future, but we can dictate it by how hard we work and how much we come in and listen and focus on an everyday basis. He is one of the hardest working players. I love the way Scotty Brooks describes Kevin Durant. He said his approach is that of a backup player. How was practice today? It's taking damn time to get better every time we step on the floor. You know me. <laughs> As one of the youngest teams in the NBA last season, the Thunder made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. But it was their first appearance on such a big stage, and at times, it showed. A crushing defeat for the young Thunder. And that win, of course, is disappointing in the way we lost. In the last few games, we were up late in the game, and you know, we kind of let the lead slip away. Nowitzki for the lead. Bang! The Mavericks with another frantic comeback here in the fourth quarter. You know, it was tough. Everybody on our team knows what happened, you know, and we, we all take responsibility for it. This Oklahoma City team obviously is going to learn a bitter lesson on how to finish. We learned that we have to take every single minute, every single second seriously. You know, we can't take any possessions off. And, you know, just one possession might change the series. To many on the outside, it seemed there was a breakdown in the Thunder's chemistry. But to the team, it was just growing pains, and the loss will only make them stronger. I don't think chemistry broke down. I think that we made some mistakes that normal teams make, but we made them at the wrong time. A heartbreaking ending to what has been an exceptional season for Oklahoma City. 
You know, it's something that experience is going to help us with. I think if we were in the same situation this year, we would handle it a little better. Well, perhaps earlier than expected, this talented young team is now one of the NBA's elite. We've been through a lot this year. We've grown up a lot. We had to know how to play at that stage at that highest level, almost getting to the finals. So um, with that experience, it's going to take us a long way this year. Remember, big things are coming on Christmas Day with the start of the new NBA season. At noon Eastern, the Boston Celtics visit the New York Knicks on TNT. Then at 2.30 Eastern, it's a doubleheader on ABC. First up, a rematch of last season's NBA Finals as the Miami Heat take on the Dallas Mavericks, followed by the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. At 8 Eastern on ESPN, the Orlando Magic visit the Oklahoma City Thunder, followed by the Los Angeles Clippers and the Golden State Warriors. Thanks for watching NBA's Big Christmas, presented by Sprint. 